Yeah, there, okay, there's just some must know character handling that you must be able to do and must know how to do. It's when you have an item separated, like the item description separated by a comma. The price and the item description is separated by a comma or any specific character. Okay, you will use it a lot uh, in the coming years. So you need to be able to separate the item and the price. In a different example, it might not be the item description or it might be a name with the age or something else, but you need the, the concept of how you will split the two entities will be the same. Okay, so in this example, I made a constant and I set it to as coke comma 12 and when the form is created I'm going to display that uh, product in my label just so that we can see what we must do there so in this string handling example I'm going to use the pause function to get the position of that comma okay so after I get the position of the comma I'm going to use the copy function to copy, copy from the first character up to that comma minus one character and then I will have the item name or the item description okay to get the price or the age of something the second entity I'm gonna delete from the first character up to the comma and then only the price will remain in that variable and then I can use that as the price Okay, so first off, when I click on the display button, I'm going to put my S product into a variable. Let's make it S item or something as a string. Okay, no, it's not always going to be a constant, it's just my example that's a constant. Sometimes you can actually read it from a text file and there will be a lot of items in that text file and you do and you need to be able to split the numbers and the description. So I'm gonna put that S product into my S item and then I'm gonna use the pause function and the character that I'm looking for is the comma and I'm looking for the comma inside is item and then it's going to send me back the position of that comma so i need to make a variable make it i pause a uh, an integer because it's going to save the location the number like at character three or in this example it'll be character one two three four five it will be character five remember i can't just say copy up to character 5 because the next item might not be four characters long and then this program will not work so i can't hard code it like that i need to use the pause function to get that specific location of the comma and in each word okay so now that i have the position of the comma i can copy i want to copy out of s item I want to start copying from character one and I want to copy up to the comma minus one because I don't want to include the comma. Okay, so I'm going to put that into, let's make it its description. It's a description of my item, of my product. Okay, so now I copied out the description that means that I copied up to the from the first character up to the comma minus one so the coke will be in that variable is description and now I want to delete I want to delete out of this item I want to start deleting at character one and I want to delete up to the comma this time I want to include a comma because I want to delete the comma as well because if I copy from the I delete from the first one to the comma I delete 
all of that only the number the price will remain in my s item okay, and then i can start displaying the information in my reach edit so i can say reach edit one lines dot add and i'm going to add my description and in the next line I can add my price that price will be uh, will still be in the s item because we only deleted everything from the first character to the to the position of the comma this should be have just this should have the description and this should have the pricing okay so that's the description and that's the price so I can make it a little bit neater. Description. Add the string to this one, this string, and then price. plus the price that's still in this item remember even though the it's a price like the value 12 it's still saved in a string variable so you don't need to convert it from an integer to a string it will still be seen as a string okay so this is a must now and you will use it a lot